Good evening. Today is Base L, day two of our 40 day journey. And today I'd like to delve a little bit deeper into the idea that we introduced yesterday. We explained that these days are days of Ratzin, where HaKadosh Baruch Hu is desirous once again of a close relationship with us. But I'd like to point out tonight that there is actually a paradox, there's a tension here, because that word Ratzin actually has two meanings which appear to contradict. And I'll explain. Rashi in Tehillim on the Posuk, which we say every day, Chaim Biritsoinoi, that life is by the grace, the desire, the will of Hashem that there be life. Rashi doesn't explain it in the concept of the usual context of Rotzin, of will. Rashi uses a different explanation. He says, Ritsui Upius, which means that when two people fight, and then they make up, and they make an effort to rebuild and reconnect, appease each other. That's one meaning of Ritsui. And then we have another meaning of Rotzoin, which is virtually the opposite. It's when I plan something, and I have in my mind's eye the idea, the ideal, the way it should look, and in that world there is no compromise. Everything is absolutely perfect. And my question is, which of these concepts of Rotzoin are we undergoing at the moment? And the answer is, of course, both. I'll explain what I mean by that. You see, there is, there is a bit of a tension, isn't there? On the one hand, we have Rotzen as being ideal, and we have Rotzen as being plan B. But the answer is, of course, they are both. Because let's look at the time of the year that we are at. It's, there are two things going on. On the one hand, it's the end of a year. And the end of a year where promises have been broken, where ideals have been shattered, and perhaps we haven't lived up to the way we ought to have been with the Rabbeinu Shleilam. We've just had the Bein Hamatsarim, there's been tears, there's been tragedy, and we're trying to rebuild and reconnect. And in that context, Ritsui and appeasement is in order and is correct. But at the same time, these are the days before HaKadosh Baruch Hu creates the world. Now, the world is brought into existence and actualized with Din, Barishis Bara Eloi Kim. But why does he create? He creates because he loves us and he wants to give. And therefore, the emotions, so to speak, that are percolating through these days as the introduction, as the reason for creation, Olam Chesed Yibaneh, is the world of Rotzoin. And the two collide. Where do they collide? They collide in Teshuva. And that's why we have, of course, Horoitse Bisashuva. What does that mean? It means as follows. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wishes there to be life. And he's planning. And he does it because he wants to give. But he knows by definition that if you have a world with mortal, fallible human beings, they are going to sin, they're going to make mistakes. There's going to have to be teshuva, and the ability for ritzoi and pius and to make up has to be written into the script right from the start. So that his other rotzoin of there being a world can exist, and that is why teshuva is created, as it were, before the world. It is above, it transcends, and therefore it's not a plan B, it was in the script. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted a world of imperfect beings, and the only way that that world was going to exist is if there would be the option and the opportunity to reconnect. Ritzui, Horoitze Bishuba, the only bracha in Shemayin Esra, where we discuss HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so to speak, having an emotion, not just doing something, but actually having an emotion. And these two worlds collide and coincide. There is a confluence of Rotzoin and Ritzui. The ideal, the world of the ideal, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is planning now before Rosh Hashanah. Why does he create? Because he loves us. But written into that script is that we will stray, we will get it wrong. And he knows that. And he is waiting and he wants this Ritsui. He says, return to me. I want to be appeased so that my world can continue and be built anew.